Paul, looking at you, uh, what are the biggest and most attractive markets for dating offers and what do you see are the best performing geos? Um, well, we as Advidi are active in around 25 uh, geos currently, uh, still growing, as I mentioned. Um, I would say that in almost all of them, we're, we're super competitive. Um, we launched the US around a year ago, and I would definitely say that this is our top performing geo. Um, and even in a country this, this big with so much traffic available, I'm sure there's a, there's a lot of room to grow still. Um, I would say in Europe, for example, Italy and, uh, and the UK are real money makers. Um, not to forget about the, the Nordics, of course. Th those are super interesting always. Um, in those countries, we even pay up to 20 euros per lead, uh, sometimes even higher. Um, having to do, of course, with, with the fact that people in the Nordics have a lot of spending power, uh, which we then see back in the, uh, the RPU. Um, RPU is, um, is short for average revenue per user, a backend metric we basically use to determine traffic quality, hence affiliate payout. Um, since last year, um, we've, expand, we've been expanding into uh, Eastern Europe too. Um, seeing a surprisingly uh, a high performance there. Uh, Czech Republic, for example, Poland, and recently also Slovakia, they show really great performance. Um, and yeah, geos like these, I feel, are relatively often left aside by affiliates. Um, they seem to tend, affiliates seem to tend to English speaking geos and Western European countries. And yeah, because of that, I would say that there is less competition for affiliates for affiliates to do well and make a lot of money there. Uh, and I would also make a special note for uh, for Japan. Uh, we launched that a few months back uh, as our first Asian geo. And yeah, I would say it's super interesting so far. You know, Japan is a completely different country from from most other countries in the world, uh, and building a well performing offer is is a real challenge. I wouldn't say that we have completely cracked that nut, um, but there's there's a lot of volume available uh, in Japan, a lot of traffic available. Uh, people have spending power there too, so there is a lot of money to be made, and I'm pretty confident this uh, that this will be a big geo for us in the in the future. Uh, and I think you also mentioned trends. Um, yeah, saying something about that is. I see a trend around API traffic, not specifically geo related, uh, just across all geos. Uh, API traffic, not something uh, new per se. It's been around for a while, but lately I, I hear more questions and more people asking and talking about API traffic. Seems to be a trend. Uh, also, we as a VDZ see uh, increasing numbers on API traffic, perhaps if uh, in, in a future webinar we could dive deeper into API, but I would definitely uh, label this as a trend in the dating market. So I heard, uh, you know, what comes first, the traffic or the offer? And I know in Japan we have a lot of good offers are hard to come across. So uh, I guess looking to you, Victor, in terms of top markets and how to reach them, uh, what do you look at first? Uh, competitive offers, traffic, what do you suggest? It's always a bit of a trade-off between volume, performance, and competitors. I mean, geos like US, UK, or Germany have a lot of volume, which is great, but they're also difficult to manage for new media buyers because they're very volatile. That means the performance changes quickly, so you need to always have a lot of optimization on it, or rather that your optimizations, you know, they last for less, so you need to have a lot of maintenance for those campaigns. Um, and they're very competitive. That means that you're going to have to pay a lot more money to gain those good quality impressions. I mean, those geos do have also also a really good backend, uh, despite uh, you know uh, the fact that very competitive. So the travel is justified, I think. But you need to have a little bit of uh, experience under your belt to really go for those if you've never done this before. Um, at the same time, you know, like there's also a smaller geos that are usually less competitive. That also means more stable. So in principle, they're easier to start with and manage. I wouldn't consider, for example, Nordic Geos to be an opportunity for beginners, though. I mean, they're actually small, like Paul was talking about, and they, in principle, are so easy to tackle, but um, they're also very competitive. They have very small traffic, and people are really eager to get those high payouts. Um, also, 
keep in mind, performance in the end is a relative of the CPMs that you're paying and the payers that you're receiving. Um, media buying is a game of arbitrage. And so payouts in a geo, like for example, Brazil, they're lower than that of Sweden, but the CPMs are also much lower, right? So high volumes of cheap traffic make it also an attractive geo. Just expect to spend more time in this case, minding the backend quality, of course. And my advice for those starting is to pick a non-English geo that has enough traffic and a decent payout and then build campaigns, like I uh, can explain later if you want. And try to succeed this uh, in this geo first before you go and jump into a bigger geo or an English geo, like US or UK. Um, I say English geos versus non-English geos because a lot of media buyers, they're more comfortable with English because they speak the language and that's where they kind of go first. Um, but you want to always go for stability. And I feel always that that's a bit of an underrated concept. You know, media buyers want to go all fast and furious and pick battles with the main geos. But I think it's best to do a few laps in your sports car, let's say, in conditions that you can control and you can get used to it and try to practice them before try to go to a proper race with people that have been racing there for way longer than you have. You know, just try to have stable campaigns and then that will give you more chance to build uh, more campaigns while the campaigns stay stable and then you can grow at your own pace when you're ready to go to the next level, then that's your choice. Mm -hmm.